Hello everybody, it's Joe from JLDB Games coming at you with another cool video and today I'm reviewing, kind of going over, Theme Park Studio Phase number 8. So Phase 8 is just around the corner and Pantera Entertainment actually gave us a little preview, a little sneak peek at Phase 8 coming soon. So I'm so excited to bring this video to you guys to just kind of break down the sneak peek here. So, the first thing that comes up is new park guests. So, they're introducing park guests to the video, the game, which is something that everybody's been waiting for, to have guests in your park, enjoying your rides, something that uh, people were worried about. Were they actually going to go through the queue line, stand in line and stuff? And the answer has been confirmed as yes. This uh, sneak peek shows them going through the line, getting behind, you know, everyone else. They actually stand in line. And uh, that's really awesome. I'm very excited for that. The guests look absolutely great. This uh, I haven't seen really any negative, you know, comments about the sneak peek. So the next picture here is custom pathfinding. So this was another question I had before coming in or seeing this video was the are they just gonna follow the pathways or are you gonna actually custom uh, create where the park guests can actually go and that's going to be the case so you don't necessarily have to ha use the pathway for them to use that so you can actually create uh, where the guests can walk and that is pretty darn neat I'm pretty excited about that uh, I think that's going to be a very neat feature that they're adding in on phase 8 uh, another shot here at the, at the wave carousel or the uh, little chair swings or whatever you call them um, you see a lot of kids in line for this, so they, it looks like it's going to have pretty good intelligence because this is more of a kid's ride than anything, and you're going to have kids lining up mostly for that, so that's really awesome. And then, of course, for roller coasters, they actually use the loading gates. I'm very excited about that. That looks really cool. Uh, the only thing that does kind of bother me is there's no ride operators yet, and I hope that's something that they put that in there eventually, if not in this phase. Maybe eventually get some ride operators to run the rides because right now the rides are running themselves. I mean, that's the, the rides just don't run themselves, but um, it's it's a small thing for me, but I've always just wanted to see ride operators in theme park simulators, uh, just people there that are running the rides, you know, and uh, <clears throat> that's the only downfall to this shot that I have right here, but besides that, I'm very excited, and I would love to see ride operators in the future if they don't implement it in this phase. Uh, motion capture data. When I saw these this text, I was kind of confused of what that really meant. And motion capture, obviously, is pretty much recording videos at, as, as far as the extent that I know. So what this, I'm pretty sure, means is there's going to be an in-game recording recorder, you know, where you can actually film your own parks uh, at the highest quality possible, I bet. Where you can, act you can actually go in-game record your parks and share them, you know, to the Steam or whatnot or wherever the Steam uh, workshop. I don't know exactly, but it would be really cool. Uh, but motion capture, this is something I've definitely wanted. Um, how it's going to work, I'm not entirely sure how they're going to put it in yet. Um, I would love to see something where you can add, like, a flying camera like you can in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, uh, which was a cheat in there. You'd actually name someone something, and you could actually have a flying camera. Just set pinpoints, and the camera will fly to each spot. That would definitely be really cool, uh, especially for cinematic purposes when you're filming your parks. And I would really love them to have something like that if they don't have it by Phase 8, maybe sometime in an update to have just like pinpoints and where you can have like a flying camera feature that would definitely uh, make the me make the game a little more appealing when recording my parks it just makes it uh, look a lot smoother especially if you have flying cameras like that that would be very cool but just the fact that motion capture is coming that is definitely gets me excited for phase eight even more so that's really cool another shot of uh, peeps just in line waiting for the ferris wheel so the ferris wheel has an extra extended queue line which we haven't seen before which gets me guessing are we going to be able to create our own custom queue lines that's definitely something i would love to see where we can create our own custom queue lines in the game for people to stand in line for um so maybe that's coming in as well if not you know it's it's not too big a deal as long as they have queue lines like this but i'd love to create 
my own custom queue lines and maybe have a different theme type of different themes to the queue lines but of course with theme park studio i'm sure you're going to be able to do whatever you want pretty much um the next thing it says is real flat ride physics so this is definitely something we already knew that uh, theme park studio has really good physics when it comes to flat rides and roller coasters they definitely have great physics they move very realistically and that's something that's not really new to us so we already know that the next one is Ride All Rides. That makes me very excited because I definitely want to be able to ride every single ride, not just the roller coasters. Uh, it would be cool if we could have a third person view and also first person. So definitely I would love to see them have third person as well on all the rides, which I'm sure they will because uh, it's that way when you're riding the roller coasters. So that's very cool and I'm very excited to be able to ride any ride in the park. And we have another chair swing uh, shot right there that's really cool and more guests standing in line so phase eight is coming along very nicely we got another shot uh, a good shot of this wing coaster here and you see people going through the line queue line and stuff like that very cool I, this sneak peek definitely gets you ex excited for the next phase and we get have a picture of everyone getting on the gyro swing right here or whatever you want to call it uh, very cool and uh, just another shot of the loading gates for um, the wing coaster here, which is very nice as well. Um, I really hope you can uh, kind of choose what kind of loading gates you have. Maybe I wish they would have a little more options than these gates. I'm not the biggest fan of these loading gates, uh, just me personally. It's a small thing, but I would definitely like to see different types of loading gates. And I would also like to see um, ways to customize your own station a little bit more. Uh, because, you know, you, you, these stations that they have are very nice. No, don't get me wrong. I love the stations that are already in them. It would just be nice to have kind of like more themed stations that you can make yourself or just certain things you want to make yourself uh, with that. Uh, adults and kids. So there's definitely adults and kids now uh, that are going to be in the park. So you definitely have different sizes and shapes of different variety of park guests. Uh, the kids kind of look kind of like just Oompa Loompas to me. I don't know. They just kind of look funny. Um, but they don't look bad. They just kind of look a little funny to me. But um, that's not the point. The point is that we're getting park guests. And as you can see, there's just a lot of variety here. And I hope they have quite a bit of variety between all the guests. At least a little bit. Realistic movement. I'm guessing that's referring to the guests having realistic movement. If they get in line for a ride and they're excited, they might run. All the way through the queue line just because they're real excited uh, that'd be very cool as well um, so just a very exciting and peeps are coming so peeps are in the park they're coming to our theme parks and we just have to be super excited I'm excited people are excited for phase 8 because um, they also stated Pantera has stated that they have a lot of surprise around the corner with phase 8 so there's some stuff they're keeping hush hush that's really going to get ex us excited. They said they did not think they would be able to implement whatever they're putting in uh, for Phase 8. They didn't think it would be possible, but they're actually putting it in. They haven't told us what it is, so um, I'm very excited to see what that is. Maybe, I don't know, uh, management mode? I don't know. Just, it could be anything, you know, but I, don't, I, I personally don't think it will be management mode, but something that we've been wanting that they're going to put in there. They, ju they just want to keep a surprise, and I hope I am surprised about it because I am excited as heck for Phase 8 to come out. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave in the comments what you would like to see in the future for Theme Park Studio to make the game better. And it looks like Phase 8 is going to be uh, absolutely amazing. I am so pumped uh, for Theme Park Studio to come out with Phase 8. And that's pretty much it that I have on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you learned anything, be sure to smack that like button. And this has pretty much been my breakdown of the sneak peek. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. Goodbye.